Hey guys. Hi everybody. Hey. Hi, I'm Debbie. And I'm Travis. And we're the host of Table Talk, a show aiming to build community through good food and conversations with great people. That's right. Um, so we uh, each week we invite guests to talk about recipes and relationships and parenting home management self care and wherever the conversation goes right so join us at 7 p.m on tuesdays as we live stream to youtube and facebook and chat with us during the show to be a part of the conversation and that is 7 p.m pacific standard time and yes chat with us just like you do on our show cooking with debbie right. and friends yeah. yep so um that's uh this is a little bit different this is the second episode that we've done like this and this episode we brought in a couple of guests but before why don't we recap what we did on the last couple of shows well we've been focusing on thanksgiving food and we made a turkey and we sent it to um, a beautiful nurse who lives in our neighborhood who will be working on thanksgiving so we sent her a turkey and yeah. some dressing and um then um Last Sunday, we made a fall salad with <laughs> just had everything in it, butternut squash and uh, pomegranate seeds and um, mm -hmm. uh, pine nuts yeah. and on on the cooking show. So so on Sunday, if you don't watch that show, check us out the same channels as we're on right now, Facebook and YouTube. On Sunday, we did a fall salad, and it had a bunch of amazing stuff in there. Gorgonzola cheese, which is oh, really Oh, that's delicious. right. That's your new favorite. It's my new favorite. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so and we and have people hearty. joining us hi oh hi cindy hi tony hi eva and monica says oh you look so pretty she said you too travi you too travi thank you with my silver gray hair I appreciate that hi everybody so good to see everybody this is the tuesday before thanksgiving eve tomorrow is thanksgiving eve if you're a cook you know that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you're defrosting things you're looking for space in your refrigerator you're chopping things you're trying to see how you can get one step ahead so that the whole meal hits the table right. by i don't know most people eat two in the afternoon three in the afternoon hi anna maria welcome peggy peggy says she loves my hair i think so, it's my hair not so is my hair. so if you're listening to this on uh on spotify or apple or google or wherever you listen to your podcasts after we are going to do our best because we've been doing about 60 shows um live video and so we're going to do our best to let you guys know what's going on for for the visuals and stuff and what we're doing is we're reading comments live while we're talking so this is one of the advantages of checking us out on facebook or youtube we want to talk to you and this is the conversation that we were talking about in debbie's intro where where we we chat with you guys during the show so definitely hit us up we'll try not to go to the comments in the middle of a sentence <laughs> right but uh, let's say hi to some people that joined uh, there's richard yeah. ria and denise um and peggy and peggy um Casares, loretta good to see you both playing cards with my mom while watching you didn't want to miss your uh, show well good i'm glad very we will be cooking you. on sundays and yeah. um you know if and this will be our tuesday chat yeah. show so and speaking of which last week was our last uh table talk podcast episode or it was our first did first. i say our last our first. last week was our first <laughs> sorry a little tongue-tied there and uh and really we just wanted to use the opportunity to sort of open the show up and and figure out a couple of things there were a couple of snafus which we've fixed and ironed out and now we've got some guests which and now i'm really we're excited here. about and we have guests i'm so excited to have guests yeah. um hi paula gelman did you see your friends probably not yet, uh, yet. right no, okay hasn't. hang on paula you're gonna see your friends um so um today we're talking about today's topic is gratitude and how to thanksgiving in 20 and 2020 yeah. because it's going to be different this year yeah, it is. and the cdc is all asking us to have one year that's going to be a little different and next year we should all be back to normal yeah. so you well, know here's open yeah one uh yeah it's not too hard to give up one holiday well, but season. some people may not want a normal holiday after after this year i mean what yeah. you what we end up making it this year might eventually catch on like a lot of things i think yeah you know we were talking about how people do business and how people shop and how people use the internet not to say that we want to go all go shopping on the internet or anything but uh, because we definitely still want to support local businesses but a lot of things during this quarantine and this pandemic 
have moved towards really altering how we do a lot. Mm -hmm. And I think holidays are going to be a big part of what ends up staying changed as we move forward, especially for for holidays that aren't really easy to do, like some Thanksgiving. Yeah. Yeah. And we're all about being creative here and taking your holidays back. So instead of saying, oh, I can't do this. I wish I could do this. I don't want to even participate if I can't do something. Take your holiday back. Take your holiday back and, um, you know, get your power back by creating the kind of holiday you can within what you're doing. Yeah. So we're going to start off by saying that and feel free to put in the comics what comments what you're doing. Um, hi, Audrey um, and Patrick. <laughs> so feel free to put in the comments what you're doing. And uh, like Travis said, we'll try not to break away from our conversations with our guests tonight, but uh, we will be looking at your comments afterwards. Yeah, um, like what you're doing differently this Thanksgiving. How are you going to Thanksgiving in I 2020? That's yeah. that's what this is about. And also gratitude um so put in the comments there what you're what you're happy and thankful for and um share some gratitudes with us that yeah. we would like to share with the what audience your plans are um yeah um before we go any further i want to say i know this is a cooking show but if you're tired of cooking and you don't want to cook there are a lot of small businesses and restaurants that would love your business mm -hmm. this thanksgiving and um even grocery stores will will pack up your whole meal and get it ready to yeah. go so um Without uh, further ado, let's talk about what you and I are doing for Thanksgiving. Yeah, what are we doing? I think I'm sleeping most of the day. Are you sleeping? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, that's what I have planned anyway. Um, I'm making a small turkey. It's like a 16 pound turkey. Small turkeys are hard to find right now because they grew the big ones. You know, they bred yeah. the big ones. Oh, to get ready for the big, yeah, the big family get-togethers. And right. Stuff. Yeah. So yeah. you'll find those 22 to 25 pounders for like 99 cents. And, um, you know, it's a great buy, but if you have a freezer and you can freeze some stuff yeah, or, yeah. or, help, or, you know, share your food. Well, we were smart a long time ago and we bought a, a freezer when Pilar was a baby. Yeah. We just got rid of it. I think a year and a half or two years ago and got yeah. a bigger one. Yeah. Um, but that thing is, that thing is, um, invaluable to yeah. this family yeah. in many ways. And we're a small family and we still use it, yeah. but we're going to stay home. We're going to have our daughter Pilar over who uh, we're in her bubble and she really only sees us and uh, her roommate, but she and her roommate are social distancing as well. Mm -hmm. So everybody's being very careful. Want to read some of those comments? Sure. Um, I'm happy that my feet. <laughs> and next hurt, time I'm going to move. I'm going to move that monitor because you're looking around your mic stand. Okay. Sorry for that. So let's see. Um, hi, Debbie Wheatley Ferguson, Tony, nice sounding mics. Pa a party of three peggy oh my goodness only the people that live here and i'm sad about not having the rest of the clan if you mm. know my cousin peggy it's just she has children and grandchildren and even a great grandbaby and so they really um celebrate big and peggy celebrates everything big yeah. from the dodger game to halloween and so i'm sure that this is looking really different for you this year debbie says i'm happy that my feet hurt and i will cook a small turkey when sides with pie there you go there you go and then ria says our turkey is 13.5 pounds that's perfect for the two of you just perfect yeah all right so um uh, so we're going to be doing it small, right? We're going to share some of our turkey with somebody who's going to share some macaroni and cheese with us. <laughs> oh, that's right. And and BG makes an amazing mac and yeah, cheese. So we're going to be doing that. And we're going to do the whole porch drop off of what we have to share and, um, and, you know, exchange. So if you guys haven't seen that episode of cooking with Debbie and friends, Debbie made a turkey, very easy. It's the Ina garden recipe and it's super easy to make. We made it in two parts. So I think that was episode 57, part one and part two, you can find on YouTube and Facebook. It lives there as well, but definitely watch that. If you've got any ideas or, or need ideas rather to uh, cook your turkey, because it's really easy and it's so flavorful. The, the breast yeah. meat was very tender and juicy. Very, very good. Very good. And go on I'm websites sorry. that will tell you how to freeze things. You can freeze everything from chopped onions to mashed potatoes that are already cooked, macaroni and cheese, gravy. There's all different ways that you can freeze these items. So if you haven't yet bought your Thanksgiving items, 
be sure to pick up some good freezer wrap so that yeah. you can do that because you can enjoy Thanksgiving, you know, the week afterwards. Right. So, hi, Mary Worthen. Look at you. <laughs> hey, Paula, Mary's here. I'm telling you, Debbie guys. Debbie Crow said, good idea sharing. Yes. I mean, who can eat a whole turkey if you're in your bubble, yeah. you know? Yeah. Because bubbles are about three to five people. So I was just um, going to say, Debbie is so excited for these shows uh, because she gets to connect with you guys. So, so when she does that, oh, hi guys, it's because she really <laughs> is somebody. super happy yeah. to, to and, see you guys. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, Debbie said we have matching flowers. I love my flowers. They're from yeah. Fadi's. Um, and then uh, Richard Connemacher said they're planning Zoom and FaceTime with people. A lot of people are going to be doing FaceTime yeah. and Zoom with other people. Maybe you eat at the same time. Maybe you cook at the same time or you just have a visit. Diana said, hi, I bought two small turkeys, one for Bill and me, bubble of two, and another for mom and dad and fam to drop off on the porch with stuffing and candied yams. That's it. Keeping it simple. Yeah. You know, I noticed that... Um, when you're cooking for your bubble, you can say, anybody want this particular side dish? No, thanks. Mm -hmm. Then I won't make it. Right. You know? So how's the story? It's like yams. Don't, don't make those. <laughs> I won't eat them. I love yams. So did you read Audrey's here? We have an 18-pound turkey. It will be me, Patrick, Parker, and his girlfriend will be dropping off a few turkey turkey meals from my aunt Joanna oh, on Friday. Oh, nice. Yeah. A lot of people are doing that, you guys. And mm -hmm. I, I love hearing that you guys are doing that because it keeps you safe, but it also lets you connect because as we all know, connecting through food is is really one easy way. Yeah. That we can Who can eat love. a whole turkey? Challenge accepted. <laughs> okay. Hi, Pilar. You get to eat at the adult nice table this year. Yep. Um, so without further ado, shall we bring on our guests? Yeah, let's do it. Because tonight is about real talk with real people. And we invited two of our favorite couples on mm -hmm. the show. And um, one couple moved from Las Vegas all the way to Florida. And the other couple is lives in Texas. And they visit Florida all the I mean, visit um, Vegas, Vegas yeah. all the time. Yeah. Um, but they're two of our favorite couples, four of our favorite people on the planet. Yep. And we're going to have some real talk with real people about how they are planning on doing Thanksgiving in this era of COVID. Yep. All right. So let's bring those on. Who would you like on. me to bring in first? Um, let's bring on um, let's bring on Suzanne and Jack all from right. Texas. <laughs> hi guys, Mary Worthen and Paula are watching, so you can say hi to them. Hey, hey guys! <laughs> hey. Good to see you guys. Thank you so much for coming on. We appreciate it. Now, first of all, before we go on, how is Texas? Because we hear in the news we're in California, and we hear that Texas is um, really suffering. Yeah. Yeah, um, it's yeah. stupid, especially where we live. Yeah, especially where we live, people aren't. We don't have the mask mandate, and so mm -hmm. you know, it's yeah, it's. I have to shop in a different county because our particular county they don't have a mask mandate. It's kind of whatever you want to do. We actually come out and encourage family get-togethers. Yeah, in our county. No, wow. Our, yeah. our county judge. So we go to a different county to shop or do whatever where they have. You know, because we're real careful, so we put it. You know, mm -hmm. we have to. We just go elsewhere. Uh -huh. I know. I see pictures of when you fly, and you're just like you look like you're going in outer space. Yeah. And have any of these people that you live around have they seen the news at all? Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, it's kind of yeah. They they do, but they just they don't. You know. Yeah. Just the other day, they had a a little parade for yeah our yeah. ex yeah soon to be ex pres. You know. So they. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so, it's they're whatever, but okay, Jeez, that's got to be hard, hard too. <laughs> and we feel safer there sometimes, but some parts of Texas, I'm sure, are good. But you know, El Paso, which is where I was born and I have family, is just absolutely horrible right now. Um, yeah, you know, our county, the numbers are rising just like they are everywhere, all over. Mm -hmm. You know, and people just need to get a clue and they need to stop, you know, doing the things that they're doing. So, yeah, you know, that's, that's too bad. Yeah. yeah. That's too bad. We live in a in a state where it is mandated, and there just doesn't seem to be many problems with people wearing masks. Yeah, no, they'll they'll wear masks and um, you know socially distance and everything. And then every now and then you see someone that's not wearing a mask, and um, you know overall, guys, we just need to just stay safe. Suzanne I'm, calls them mask holes. Mask holes. <laughs> she goes those mask holes. <laughs> I, I, I've been banned from the store. My kids call me to. 
dad, don't let her go to the store because I cannot not say something, you know? And so oh. I use my basket as a weapon and it's just, so Oh I'm my like, gosh. I go yeah. to counties. Yeah. If Jack tried that or I tried it, we'd be in a in a fight because you know can't can't mad dog a dude without getting fisticuffs. So tell us how your what your your uh, Thanksgiving plans are this year. This year is different. Like you know, everybody else, we're staying in our pod. Our kids are you know about forty five minutes and uh, from here. Uh, one's up in Maryland. We have family all over, but we're all staying in our pods. We're all keeping it safe. You know, we're with my mom. who's eighty five, and you know we have to protect her. And um, so what we're going to do instead of thinking everything that we can't do, we're trying to think of things that we can do. So we're mm -hmm. going to make deliveries in the morning of coffee cake and coffee. <gasps> what a great idea! going to get their coffee orders and we're going to go drop off to my brothers and their wives and our kids. And um, we're actually ordered out to a local restaurant because I know that they're having trouble too. So nice. Yeah. Supporting a local business. I love that too. Wow. Yeah. This is, you know, and I've been keeping my ear on the news on how people are celebrating Thanksgiving. And that's the first I've heard of, of coffee deliveries and, and coffee cake. Mm -hmm. Well, they're all something different. Some are cooking, some are having their pod, you know, their group. And, and so we thought, you know, while they're cooking this way, they don't have to worry about breakfast. So we're going to do that in the morning. We're going to take my mom and just kind of go on this little breakfast yeah. trip. <laughs> wait, for then, the door. Yeah, yeah. wait for the door and then go pick up our dinner and go home and just relax. How thoughtful. Yeah, that's really awesome. That is really thoughtful. So yeah. um, what are you keeping any of your old traditions? Is there anything you can bring along to this year? Yeah, I'll eat a pizza late at night. After I'm sick of it. <laughs> Is that what you usually do? Do you? <laughs> Wait a minute. I need to write that down. <laughs> That's what you do, Jack? You have a pizza afterwards? Late, yeah. <laughs> That is so funny. <laughs> that is good. I wrote I I wrote it down. He did he wrote pizza. Yeah. 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 Frozen one, you yeah. know, put my extra cheese and all that stuff on. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Late at night. Good old pizza. Yeah. And um, so are you dropping off anything besides the coffee and the cake in the morning? Your you berry sauce. I'm okay. making cranberry sauce. I think yeah. they all have that with their meal. So I'm making that and dropping that off as well. Nice. For watching it, they didn't know that, but oh well. <laughs> oh. Do we blow the surprise? <laughs> okay. So what is on your Thanksgiving menu and who's doing the cooking for your pod? Uh, we're ordering out. So we're doing you said that. I'm sorry. And so, you know, we're just supporting a local, you know, my, my cousin has, uh, he manages the Jason's Deli in Austin. You know, I've heard of the problems that they've had and things. So we just wanted to support locally and it kind of gives us a break, you know, so we can do that in the morning and then come home and prop our feet up and just have a nice meal and enjoy it with my mom. Wow. Wow. That's a great idea. You know, just kind of be safe. That's the thing you have to yeah. be safe. And you know, we're, with Christmas coming up, you know, we're trying to, you know, we want to be with the kids and we, we have nine grandkids and, you know, to be with them and hear the laughter and the celebrating. And, you know, I have this idea. They don't know and they're not watching. Um, we have a local snow cone place that makes snowballs. Oh, how cool is that? <laughs> We're going to have an impromptu snowball fight. So you can distance and not be around them, but yet have fun. You know? Oh, that'll be good. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, that'll be fun. Hmm. Something yeah. different to make memories. I mean, you know. Yeah. Yeah, you've got to. You've got to. This is good. We don't just want the only memory to be remember 2020. Yeah, how much it sucked. Yeah. Oh, you gotta, yeah, you got to make the best of it. Well, actually, yeah. actually, we thought about starting the holidays off with a bang and throwing the turkey in the Instant Pot, but then we were like, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, <department> involved. <laughs> well, I don't know if Bruce is on here yet. He always mentions the Instapot. I'm glad you brought that up. She loves the Instapot. Um, I'm I'm going to say here that Audrey Garvey said that Patrick said that that uh, to let us know that he's smoking his turkey on his taker. I don't know what that. I don't means, know what a taker is, but it sounds amazing. Smoked turkey. Have you ever had smoked turkey? No, it's Jack, delicious. Suzanne, have you had smoked, smoked turkey? turkey? I, I fry them down. Yeah. The frying one? Have you had it fried? Mm, yeah, they fried yeah. I think Popeyes does fried turkeys. Well, we have to try this. Yeah. We have to try all of this. Yeah. This is why we're doing a cooking show so that mm -hmm. I can try all the kind of stuff that I've never done before. Is there anything that you want to tell our audience 
before we uh, go to the, our next uh, favorite well, couple? Yeah, wait a minute. I want to know oh. what what are you guys grateful for? Oh, that's a good question. Oh, gosh, we're grateful for so much. You know, <sighs> we're, we're grateful we've stayed healthy. We've stayed yeah. healthy, and mm -hmm. this I mean, guy. Our, I mean, a our, year ago it was different. So we're. I'm so grateful for our family, for our health, for friends like you guys. And and we, I mean, work has been very busy. Mm -hmm. I've been. It's been a crazy year. Yeah. Uh, photo studio, you know, but we've done 5,000 kids and knock on wood. Yeah. He's so, a photographer. Yeah. Photographer yeah. in, uh, in Texas for high schools and that. And, and so when this happened, we were like, well, what's Jack going to do? Because the mm -hmm. high schools oh, didn't really yeah. know. And Suzanne does Zumba classes and she does socially distanced and everybody wears a mask. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, so we're so you know now we are blessed very yeah. we're so grateful that you're healthy and do you want to share real quick how jack um got his diagnosis <laughs> yeah <laughs> grocery shopping at atb our grocery store here he he comes up to me and he comes up to me and i said well where are you and he goes i was taking my blood pressure in the stupid machine and i said well what was it and he goes it's like really high what was it like one 80 over 98 or something like that and yeah next thing you know we end up in open heart surgery oh so my god with a H -E with a grocery store <laughs> so travis stay away from the grocery store blood pressure machine. yeah that's that's the takeaway <laughs> The takeaway is you don't have to know. Listen, you won't no, if you don't get tested. No, that was a lifesaver. I know. That was a lifesaver. I, I know. It doesn't hurt you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, turkey pizza. Yeah. That's <laughs> well, thank you so, so much for joining us. And I can't thank you enough for when this first hit that, that they were able to go to their CVS, CVS Moss in their little mm -hmm. city, and they were able to send us Lysol and uh, wipes. And I'm telling you, when the fires hit, Travis goes grab all that. Yeah, <laughs> you don't leave that behind. That's that's the goal. We left clothes and shoes, and we grabbed the Lysol wipes. He goes, "That's cool." <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to go to therapy when this is done, like rehab, maybe just yeah. rehab because I'm like, ah. yeah, I'm like, yeah. yeah, yeah, for well, sure. Thank you so so I much for connecting with us. Thank you, you too. And, bye bye. And we love you guys. Take care. Bye. Thank you. Right. In a blood pressure machine at the store, <laughs> and then they crack them open in a, like two days afterwards. Yeah, well, they cracked them open. Know, this, look, guys need to go get do their annual physicals and get tested and stuff like that. I've been doing it every year ever since I got plugged into the VA. Yeah. And if you are, um, and don't let COVID scare you for you know not to go to get your regular. Yeah, they're doing. They're things, doing yeah. it. Safely. Uh, safely. Okay, sure. so let's see who we have here. We um somebody said uh Johanna. Johanna said I'm a scout leader and our for our virtual meeting we had a Charlie Brown Thanksgiving dinner with popcorn. The Never. families, the families picked up their dinners from me, and then we met on Zoom. That's a great pretzels idea. Yeah, pretzels and popcorn. Oh, that's so cute. Is that what Charlie Brown ate? Yeah. Don't you remember mm. the kids put together I the wonder Thanksgiving? Wonder his head was so big. <laughs> Christine said, thanks to all um, family and friends. Yeah. yeah. If this has taught us nothing, it's our family and friends are precious. You guys are out of focus. Eva. Well, maybe, maybe we're not. So, um, are we out of focus? No, I think we're good. Let us know if we let are us know if we're out of focus. It's all about getting creative. Yeah, it is. Joanna. Um, Martin said that that smoker that Tager. Audrey was talking about is a, um, it's a brand of smoker. Mm -hmm. and Richard said, smoked turkey sounds delicious. <clears throat> Hello, Martin Villanueva, who's a chef who has agreed to come onto the show yeah, we'll have and him share on. some ideas with us. Um, so without further ado, we're well, going to... Well, before our next guest... I guess on. there's further ado. Yeah, no, I, I want to show a photo of these two because this is this is the stuff of, of dreams here. The, their, their wedding, I'm just going to pop it up there. And that what, was the best. Oh my God. What you are, <laughs> that was what the you guys best are wedding. seeing is, is wow. and you got to watch this on the video and, and scroll to it. These two dancing their dance and everyone around them, you can't really see all the rest of them, but the costumes were amazing. And these guys were wonderful. 
And um, that was a photo of their wedding dance. That was the best wedding in the yeah. world. And they invited uh, Pilar and I to go and play a ukulele song with Scott. And that was really amazing. And, and we've been such good friends with these guys for so long. And so without further ado, we'll bring in Scott. The very festive. And Fabian. Fabian and Scott Hale Gomez. Hi. <laughs> 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 we did a sound check. Oh, that's a check. turkey. We did a sound check, and Suzanne and Jack are like, we don't have that. Yeah, we need hats. We don't have a dream. I'm like, you don't understand. These guys, their house looks like Main Street in, in Disneyland. So yeah. they're absolute Disney fan freaks. They love Disneyland, and they- Fanatics. So we'll call them fanatics. Fanatics. Yeah. fanatics. Yeah. yeah. They put the fun in funeral, these guys. They're- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know this is a Thanksgiving show? But we felt the holiday spirit, yep. and our yeah. whole house is decorated, and now the whole outside of the house is decorated. Now, I'm going to oh spotlight gosh. you guys so that everyone can really get a good look here. Look, Just look at that beautiful tree behind you. And so, Fabian, what we're seeing, uh, for those that are, are listening to this later, um, yep. Scott is on the on the on the right here on my uh waving there we go and fabian and um and they That's are the house yeah they're our friends well i wish i could send it to this here mm -hmm. we're gonna go back like that but how are you guys doing you great. live in florida we live in florida hold on oh turkey's gonna go for a break okay it's, it's bedtime okay <laughs> <laughs> now everything's good everything's good we, you know what, uh, when you asked them what they were grateful for, we are grateful that we moved here right before the pandemic hit. We found our dream house. Everything is great. We love it here and we're happy and healthy. So we have a lot to be grateful for. Oh, that's yeah, very that's cool. That's good. Yeah. 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 You know, we, we were wondering because when you moved down there, things got heated real fast. So we were worried about you guys. Yeah, it was, we got here February 2nd and the 12th is when, you know, all of a sudden things were happening. And then by the 13th, we were shut down. And wow. uh, so we had just finished getting the house set up. We had did everything, you know, to get set up in Florida. Everything was taken care of and bam, we just, we were locked down. The 15th of February? No, the 2nd of February we moved here. We got here. Yeah, we but when did you guys go into lockdown? The the March 12th, sorry. March okay, 12th. Oh, yeah. so we were all yeah. about the same time, right. okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh my it's gosh. Been, um, it's just been strange, you know, it's been going up and down and we did the, you know, with the, it was a ghost town, everything was closed down. And what's different out here, and to be very honest, everybody's being very, very respectful with their masks. We that's know good. that's surprising for some people, but we were afraid of what might happen out here. Happen out here, but you know what? Everybody is wearing a mask here. Everybody's staying apart. They are way more polite than I thought they were gonna be. And everybody's been very, very friendly to us. And um, it's it, been great. It's been, it's, it's made, it made it a lot more comfortable to this during this whole time yeah uh, at the grocery stores at any of the stores or mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. and then opening up at the theme parks and shopping areas it's just been it's been good it's been good i mean our numbers are going crazy again but it's it's kind of strange well you know what's funny is we actually have been to the theme parks a couple times and we actually feel safer at the theme park than i do in the grocery store really yeah, totally. Because Why? Outside, outside. They got it marked off with six feet and people are doing it. And if you don't wear your mask, you are booted out of the theme park. Or wow. they stop the attraction, stop it and say, somebody's not wearing their mask. We will not resume until somebody puts their mask on. How do they do that with that big uh, pirate ship thing? They just <laughs> stop, they stop it you. up like this. Everyone's just looking down. Oh, put your mask on. <laughs> It's, it's been really nice and we just love it. We actually really love it out here. It's been really uh, nice because, you know, getting to, we, because being in the bubble, we got to really know our neighbors. I mean, all of our neighbors. How did you do that? Walking the dogs. Yeah, yeah. that'll do it. Yeah. 
ever since the pandemic, everybody's been outside, everybody's walking, everybody stays apart. And if somebody's coming towards you, they'll go to the other side of the street. But we have met more people here quicker than we ever did in Las Vegas. I mean, really? You know, yeah. And almost all our, not all of them, but a lot of our neighbors either work for Disney, used to work for Disney, retired from Disney. So wow. they're really nice people. <laughs> wow. So because you know all your neighbors, um, you guys must be talking about what you're going to do for Thanksgiving. Are they sharing? And, and what are you guys going to end up doing? Okay, yeah, our neighbors are, they were all doing the same thing. They were all going to do, you know, a family thing. Everybody has stopped. Everybody is uh -huh. doing the same thing. Of, we're going to do prepare a meal and do care packages for people. Uh, we have, we were going to have a few friends over. And now we've said no, because the numbers are climbing again. Mm -hmm. And people have been out and about. Uh, we said, you know, we had just don't. Because we're going to be, in, you know, inside the house for such a period of time, it's like, you know what? Let's not. So we just told our friends, we'll make a tin of food. Just come by the house, and we'll just. Unfortunately, I had bought all the food for all those people. Well, not all those people. But Do you have a freezer? <laughs> yes, we have two refrigerators with two freezers. <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. So you're good. You guys are stocked up. We got two turkeys. I mean, one's twelve, one's sixteen pounds, and. But we got everything. So, yeah. So yeah. we're going to cook the big dinner and we're going to share it with Tim's, like our friend Tim's going to come by. We're going to give him his care package and just send him on his way. But our neighbors are doing the same thing. They just decided, no, we're not going to do, we don't want a super spreader. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so they're like, you know what? It's just going to be, who's ever in the house is going to be there. I mean, we have large families around us and they're like, no, nope, we're just doing, you know, just who's ever in the house. That's all we're doing. And if we have extras, we're just sending food out to the rest of the family. But other than that, everybody's kind of just laying low. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, that's good to hear. Can I say something before we go any further? Sure. I just, we just want to say, our, we want to say hi to Pilar. Pilar! Because <laughs> she's for, for 10 years. <laughs> And so we made drinks in her honor. In her honor. Oh, oh, so sweet. What are those? They're martinis. Hold, hold, here, hold hold that up again. What is that? That's a martini. Well, mine's a scooter martini. I do my own thing. <laughs> oh, there you go. Is that black but, olive? No, that's regular olives. Mine are cherries. <laughs> <gasps> so put, fancy. Cherry vodka, lemon, and cherries, and it's my own concoction. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. You have to send that recipe to Pilar so she can make that in honor of her uncle Scott. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. So, we so who's, uh, who's going to be doing the cooking? We split it. I always do the turkey. 25 years of doing the turkey. And the gravy. And the gravy. Uh, <laughs> and a few little sides. And then I do the sides. He has his starches. He likes his potatoes. <laughs> I mean, I love his potatoes the way he does them. So he does the sides and I just take care of the uh, the turkey and the and desserts and things like that. Well, some people say the sides are the best part, yeah. you know? Yeah. Do you do macaroni and cheese by any chance? Just thinking because you're so Southern. <laughs> I do, we're not, I'm not doing it for Thanksgiving, but I love to make macaroni and cheese. Yeah. That's on a lot of people's tables for Thanksgiving. We, we do mashed potatoes and gravy and um, dressing. Yep. Those are Stuffing. our starches, yeah. Stuffing. Yeah. Bean Pilar bean. said, send me the recipe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody, um, Eva said, such a happy and festive, good looking couple. Aww, that's so sweet. <laughs> They're the nicest guys. Yeah. Your wedding was the best. Oh, now you're oh my gosh. They took us to different places in the venue and the cocktail changed as you went. Like when you went down the blue carpet, you got a blue cart cocktail. Yeah. And then you went to another place, you got a different cocktail. And it was just a beautiful ceremony. Beautiful ceremony. Yes. Nephew, who's out here is the person who married us, Tim. He's the he's kind of the one who instigated us to come out here to Florida because of the new Cirque show. The Cirque, uh, Cirque du Soleil show that was going in Drawn to Life at Disney Springs. He's like, hey, you guys want to leave Vegas? Come on out to Florida. So we said, sure, why not? Wow. And that's, and now everything stopped. 
Yeah, we'll yeah, it'll we, come back. Yeah, it'll come back. And you know, if we if we all play nice this year, we will all be able to get together next year. That's right. Yeah. So we can't thank you enough for joining us and sharing oh, with us what you're doing and how things are in Florida. And before we say goodbye, well, we just we're just talking say, about the wedding. So uh, here's our favorite wedding gift. <laughs> We had those dolls made for them. Oh, that's right. I remember those. <laughs> we had them made for them, and we knew they were going to be going on cruises. Those dolls, those dolls had a better vacation than we did. Yeah, they did. They got to go everywhere. <laughs> we vacationed here. It's our favorite wedding gift. Oh, I'm so glad you <laughs> like them. Well, thank you so much for coming on, and happy Thanksgiving. Yep, yep. You thank you, guys. Love All right, you guys. We need to go Cheers. Back and yeah, I was going to go back to uh, Jack Suzanne. and Suzanne because they had their hats on, Little which were inspired. Uh, Jack and Suzanne. Suzanne. Um, yeah, they have here. Let's I'm see. just going to pop them in real quick just so that Scott and Fabian can see what they inspired. And um, look at that, you guys. Thanks. So cute. Look what they started. <laughs> look what they Jack's started. Jack's got a nice looking cowboy hat and Suzanne has her uh, Santa hat Santa hat on. Yeah. Thank you again, right, everybody. You guys. Well, we are going to wrap this up. Um, and uh, before we do, we want to remind you guys to check back on Sunday because Aren't we're you doing. excited to see people? I love I'm seeing so them. I'm so excited yeah. to see people. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be doing pot pies. I'm going to be making one. Debbie will make one. They're smaller pot pies. And um, no, baby, they're the big ones. Oh, Ooh. I thought you said they're little pot pies. I swear. I, I was thinking, you know what? I was thinking when you told me that story about Denise and the little pot pies. That's why. I made my niece Denise little pot pies. Yeah. And she said she served them to a friend who said, this is the best thing I think I've ever eaten. They are damn life. good. <laughs> and yeah. then Pilar, oddly enough, was making a homemade mini pot pie. No, these are going to be big pot pies. And so uh, if you join us on Sunday after Thanksgiving, if you're feeling up to it, save some cuts of uh, your turkey. Oh, you know? turkey pot pie. Turkey pot pie. Son of a bitch. Yes. And uh, you need your turkey and you need carrot, celery, onion, or just get a can of mixed vegetables or the frozen vegetables. Cream of uh, In fact, something. I think that's what we're going to do. I'm going to have you make a pot pie with the canned vegetables and the canned soup, and I will make the um, from scratch. Yeah, what the hell? Let's do, we'll do whatever. We'll yeah, do it we'll all. make one of each. We'll yeah. do one that's quick and easy and one that's that's made from scratch. How does that sound? That sounds very good. Yes. All right. So um, that's what's coming up. And then you want Here, to say some so, stuff yeah, about the um, podcast? Cook, and so Cooking with Debbie and Friends, we cook on Sundays at noon Pacific time. We podcast on Tuesdays at 7 p.m. We live stream to YouTube and Facebook. You can also check us out, cookingwithdebbieandfriends.com. And on Instagram uh, at Cooking with Debbie, and then uh, YouTube, of course, forward slash Mommy Comic, forward slash Debbie Gutierrez on Facebook. And because uh, of you guys, we 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 wanted to share something. So if you're on our website, Cooking with Debbie and Friends dot com forward slash shop, um, shop, shop. Yeah, we've got a few things in there. We're going to be adding some other stuff. Right now, it's the uh, conversation starters that we've we've had on the show before. 80 cards that you can download and print, and they're uh, conversation starters that, that you and I wrote together. And how much are those? Those, well, on the website, there's, there are prices, but they're free. Free! Okay. And our book, um, Say It in a Square, Little Love Notes for Your Relationship, and uh, as well as a Christmas album. Scott and Fabian, you guys are already ready for this, and Suzanne has her hat on as well. So if you go to our website, enter the coupon code. The Christmas album is Travis. And Caitlin. And Caitlin. Hansen. And they did a Christmas jazz album that is just It's, yeah, beautiful. ukulele, guitar. Um, um, I think I threw, put some harmonica, some trumpets on there. Um, Caitlin played the stand-up bass. Beautiful. So enter the coupon code podcast free, all one word, all uppercase, at checkout. So Put all those in your basket and you can download them free. That's cooking with Debbie and friends.com all together like that forward slash shop. So, and, yeah. And then uh, the, the podcast uh, after this, we'll be uploading it to anchor uh, Spotify, Apple, Google. So you can find the audio only version of this on all those platforms as well. 
So we hope you got some really good ideas from our friends, Jack and Suzanne and, uh, and Fabian and Scott. I love the idea of dropping off breakfast for people. That's a very good idea. What a great idea. Yeah. I mean, I'm not prepared to do that this Thanksgiving, but it would be nice for Christmas well, I, to drop off coffee. Before and, you do, though, don't just show up here because I don't want to be in my nightgown <laughs> with my curlers and my ha hair up. And Okay, you guys just make sure you call that was, ahead of time. I thought that, that um, the Denlingers had a great idea of, of taking breakfast to people on Thanksgiving. Yeah. That's a really good idea. And that Scott and Fabian, they did something bold and brave, and that is disinviting people because that can be kind of tricky to say no we're going to step back and just stay within our bubble mm -hmm. or within our pod and those are uncomfortable conversations that people have to have now and um, they did that big brave thing by doing it and they prefaced their whole conversation with us by telling us that they live in a very very wonderful environment of people that are being supportive and are looking out for each other yeah yep so that was wonderful to talk to them. Um, sure was. So we, thank you guys. Uh, there are some some uh, additional comments coming through. Look, somebody loves your album, my yeah, sister. My mom sister. plays it all year round. When I would take my mom shopping, it'd be August, and she'd yeah. say, "Let's hear Travis sing the Christmas song." Oh my God! So um, okay. So we want to wish you all a wonderful Thanksgiving, and um, remember, Ina Garten will talk you through anything with your turkey. And Food Network has some pretty awesome hotlines that you can call as well. And we're wishing you a beautiful Thanksgiving and a wonderful time with your friends. And we hope that you connect with them the best way you can and to give those virtual hugs and kisses. And um, join us back here on Sunday and bring me your pot pie left your um, turkey leftovers and we will create a pot pie or two yeah don't actually bring them here but <laughs> bring them bring them to the show yeah yeah all right you guys thank you take care bye bye